We are ready for the start. They're off in the Breeders' Cup Classic, and Bayern broke to the inside. May have impeded shared belief there. Bayern is going to go out to the early lead. Moreno is stuck in behind horses. Toast of New York is there on the outside, and California Chrome gets into his comfort zone outside of horses. Moreno, Cigar Street on the inside. Oh, shared belief in traffic trouble there. Just got steadied by Mike Smith. Majestic Harbor is on the outside. The opening quarter mile goes in 23 seconds flat. Then Footbridge, Candy Boy, followed by Prayer for Relief Imperative on the inside. VE Day is after that, and then comes Zebo, and the Belmont Stakes winner Tonalist is last. It is Byron who leads the way. He shifted in at the start of the race, but he's in the clear as they move to the back stretch by a length and a half. Europe's Toast of New York is up and on the pace running in second. California Chrome in a perfect spot for him outside of Cigar Street. Moreno unexpectedly fit at this stage. Shared belief is right alongside of him, and they went 46 and 2 for a half mile. And then comes Majestic Harbor. Footbridge on the inside, followed by Candy Boy Imperative Prayer for Relief. Totalist is third last at this stage of the race. VE Day is next. And then comes Zevo. And now the field moves for the far turn. And Byron has run three quarters in one ten and one. And he carries his speed into the turn by a length. Toast of New York is right in striking range. Victor Espinosa now asking California Chrome to go. He's two lengths off the lead. He's starting to close in. And then it's Cigar Street. Shared belief has his work cut out for him. He's fifth as they come to the top of the stretch. Byron turning for home in front. Toast of New York on the outside. California Chrome is third. Shared belief laboring back there in fifth. One furlong to run. Byron, Toast of New York. California Chrome on the outside. The three of them come to the wire. Byron, Toast of New York. California Chrome. Here's the finish. Byron, Byron holds on over Toast of New York. Then California Chrome. Shared belief was fourth in a final time of 1 minute 59.88 seconds. Byron finishes first in the Classic. Byron, ridden by Martin Garcia, gives Bob Baffert his first Breeders' Cup Classic victory. Let's go to Josh Elliott for the presentation. All right, thank you, Tom. I'm joined here in the winner's circle uh, by some of today's performers, members of the Breeders' Cup board. Elizabeth Banks with the trophy and Juan Carlos Capelli of Longines for the presentation of the $5 million Breeders' Cup Classic. It's you, right? Yeah, hand that over. And Juan Carlos. Congratulations, it was an incredible day today. And uh, we are very proud to be for the first time the Chatham Keeper of the Breeders' Cup. And tonight we have an incredible race and uh, a great winner. An incredible race. With, with a very close finish and a questionable beginning, owner Kaleem Shah, those were perhaps some anxious final moments there before your horse was officially named the winner. What were they like? I mean, uh, I could not believe, like, you know, first and foremost, there was an ejection because it had just at the start and it was rather incidental, we thought. So as we were coming down, I was talking to Bob as to what it might mean. We were confident that it would mean nothing. But uh, I'm so glad by and round of winning race. Congratulations, Kaleem. Thank you. Lafitte standing by. Josh Martin's trying to convince me here that he was never concerned for an instant that he was going to be disqualified. There was some contact leaving the starting gate. How were you so sure they weren't going to take your number down? Well, I don't think uh, nobody can do anything out of the first jump. And then my horse breaks so fast that the first jump come in a little and then I correct. But he breaks pretty sharp in frame by two or three lanes so I was pretty sure that I wasn't bothering nobody. Bob Baffert back in 1996 you had a horse named Cavanier lose a Kentucky Derby by a very short short margin more agonizing waiting out that photo finish in that Derby or sweating out the Stewart's decision here. Well this situation here I, I knew it wasn't really a lot of nothing it happened the first jump so it wasn't really a lot of contact there but you know, I was excited, but for some reason, drama seems to follow me everywhere I go, and I, I wanted to win a race like this without any drama. But I'm glad that uh, results stood, and uh, I'm so I'm so proud of this little guy right here. He ran an unbelievable race, and uh, he works hard every day. And my staff, Jimmy Barnes, and all the people that work for me, they work so hard. And we and Kaleem, you know, once in a while, we 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 deserve one of these. Congratulations to the both of you on your first Breeders' Cup Classic.